Hello and welcome to YQ Academy for another session of our Java course. In this session, we are going to discuss about the polymorphism. So in Java, polymorphism refers to the ability of a class to provide different implementation of a method depending on the type of object that is passed to the method. So in simple words, polymorphism in Java allows us to perform the same action in many different ways. So uh, let's take a real life example. So uh, let's take the example of a woman. A woman can be a mother, a daughter, a sister, and a friend at the same time. She performs other behaviors in different situations. So before moving to coding, uh, let me just tell you two uh, more important points about the polymorphism. So firstly, uh, any programming languages that support polymorphism are the object-oriented programming languages. So because Java supports the polymorphism concepts, that's why Java is uh, the object-oriented programming language. And inheritance is a powerful feature in Java. So inheritance is uh, needed to uh, implement the polymorphism uh, in the uh, Java. So uh, just uh, a little story about the polymorphism. So why inheritance is important? Because uh, we inherit a class, for example, a, uh, in this way, for example, this animal class you can see, and I'm going to inherit two different classes from the animal, uh, let's say cat and dog. So two different classes belongs to a same class, and I'll uh, define a function in the animal class. And, but that function will behave differently for dog and the uh, cat. So let's let's do that. So animal. So let me just. Uh, uh, so uh, this is just a simple example to give you guys the concepts of polymorphism. So let's just make a simple function here called speak, a public function called uh, speak. And let's. Uh, print animal uh, speak. Okay. So let's uh, try this uh, animal a new animal. A dot speak and let me just run this so you guys can see the speak animal is printed so let's move uh, make two new classes and uh, 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 inherit these two classes uh, from animal and that classes are going to be uh, cat and the dog classes so new class java doc okay so extends um, animal okay so let me define this speak function here let me um public void speak so this speak is function is the uh is generally the function of animal but because now dog inherits the animal class so now this function is also for the dog so let's print um dog class or let's say ooh, ooh. Okay. so let me just make the main here so a very interesting and the new point i'm going to show you that i will make the animal class uh, of object but i will assign the dog the animal class 
okay look what's actually happening so animal is a class and dog inherits from animal so animal is because the super class and dog is the sub class so a super class object can uh, point to the sub class object so here same case animal a is equal to new not animal but dog so dog is a sub class animal is a super class so let's run this and let's try this no you guys can see woo woo so as i told you earlier that same object but different behaviors at the same time so look uh the object or the uh variable is belongs to the animal class okay but it is now pointing towards the uh dog class and when we call the speak function from a so it clearly prints what i defined for the dog so here the summary or the takeaway from this is that the animal class is now behaving as the dog so let's make uh, another uh, class oh sorry let me make another new java class not the project cat sends animal and let me define the public function speak okay so let's change the speak function for the cat so again uh the same or the one function uh, of animal class but behaving different for the uh, other classes that are sub classes of the animal so let's say meow and meow okay because uh, let me uh, make a main function here and here we are going to do the same we will simply make the cat class and let's try this okay so it's meow meow so the hierarchy is that there is animal class which is a super class and two subclasses of animal which is actually inherited from the animal class cat and dog so animal uh, class have a public method which is speak and because cat and dog are inherited from the animal class so speak is also the uh, as an uh, you can say uh, is passed to dog and cat uh, in result of inheritance but a speak function is behaving different for the uh, cat the the another new and important thing is that object or the variable is of animal class but it is pointing to the cat class and when we call the uh, dot speak function which is actually originally defined in the animal class but it is now behaving as a cat so that's that was the concept of polymorphism uh, in simple words uh, a quick recap so polymorphism is a concept in java that provides the ability to an object to behave differently at the same time so here the object is the animal but it is behaving differently for example let's say animal object is behaving as a cat and as a dog at the same time and that's why you can you can see the speak function is same but it's because animal ob, uh, object is behaving differently so speak function is also behaving differently according to the object that is passed to the animal class so here the cat object is passed to the animal class so animal is uh, uh, behaving like the the uh, cat here is the dog object is passed to the animal class so animal class or animal object which is a is behaving as like the dog so that was the uh, concept of polymorphism 
and that was all for this session and see you guys in the next session